guys, it's Lauren again, and welcome to my very small tutorial on how to use the sticker shop on EN. If you're on JP, this is probably very old news for you since we call it the seal shop on JP and you've been using it for probably forever. Um, for EN, it's very new, so I'm going to be explaining how to use it, what you can use, what you can't use, all that good stuff. So, in order to get to the seal shop, you go to your other page and go to the sticker shop. On the sticker shop, you'll see that there are a couple rares, idolized rares, that you can get um, for 15 red or pink normal seals. There are also idolized super rares that you can get for one silver seal. And eventually, we will have URs that will come into rotation. I believe it's once they rotate every month. I think they're a set of nine URs. Maybe, yeah, that sounds about right. Nine-ish URs um, that will come into rotation. And those will cost three Ultra Seals each. Those three gold seals. Uh, in order to get these seals, you either have to sell a rare, super rare, or a rare, or did I say, yeah, uh, you are a SR or an R. So in order to get, to order to sell them, you have to either sell them for gold or you have to practice them on another card. So I have practiced away seven norm, seven rares uh, two super rares and 12 ultra rares, yes, um, because I really want to idolize that wedding dress Ellie, and when she comes in, I am definitely buying two of her because I am not getting lucky anywhere else, and the other six, we'll see what I want to do with them, but we're gonna see what URs come into rotation next. Um, also in the sticker shop, you can buy um, blue scouting tickets, scouting coupons. They cost 30 rare seals or two super rare seals. And also I forgot to mention, if you do want to get super rare seals, you can practice away an idolized SR. They will give you two super rare or super stickers, um, two silver seals. Sorry, I'm still going to call them seals. I It's a force of habit. So they will give you two silver seals again, and if you practice away an idolized rare, they'll give you two um, rare seals. And if you idol if you sell away an idolized ultra rare, they will give you two ultra rare seals. So there's that. Um, you don't have to sacrifice one and or and get one. It's if it's idolized, you get two. Um, and in order to exchange them, I can't. You'll see I don't have enough rare stickers. But if you, I click the RIN, the exchange button is grayed out. That's because I don't have enough seals. It, But I do have enough seals for my scouting coupon. So let's go ahead and exchange that. You'll see that my exchange is complete and my retrieved or received club members and items were sent to my present box. And you'll see it says valid till NA. So this will never expire. Uh, availability says unlimited so I can get an unlimited amount of these scouting coupons it requires two silver seals and I own none now so I can't exchange any more but if we go up here they're all NA and unlimited once the UR rotations come in then there will be available until for a whole month so if it comes in on the first it will leave on the 30th or the 31st but it will come back eventually it's just a matter of how many URs they have in rotation, and you know how basically that the rotations are a month each. So eventually it will come back. They're not just gonna go away forever. Um, yeah, so that's basically the sticker shop. Um, I might as well explain two other new things on EN now are the titles. So these are all the titles that you could get minus two of them because I haven't gotten them yet. Basically, you unlock the character um, titles by playing their songs, uh, certain songs, using a team of only that character. So I unlocked the Nozomi by playing Junai Lens 
on whatever difficulty, but it has to be on your hits. It can't be on expert on the B pages. I unlocked the Nozomi title by playing Junai Lens with a team full of Nozomi cards. And you unlock Kotori by playing Blueberry Train, um, by using a team full of Kotoris, and so on and so forth. There is a list of songs and the titles. I believe it's on the Wikia or on the Reddit. Um, I will probably find that and put it on the link below, on the description below. Um, and then there's a, just a whole list of titles that you can unlock, and I'll also link to how you can unlock those in the description box down below. Um, and you'll see, let's say I want to set mine to Lily White. So I have it on Nose Me right now. I want to set it to Lily White. I set OK. My title is set, and if I go to my home page, you'll see in the top left-hand corner, hello, whoopsie, top left hand corner it says lily white right above my nose of me if i want to change it again i can just click on it and it goes to titles automatically and i'll switch it back to nose of me and there it is oh yes that's umi just kidding um but that's basically how it works the titles will show up um in the event rankings so if we go to the event event ranking my rank you'll see that I have the Nozomi seal. And there are, let's see, I don't know if there are, yeah, I thought I saw them, but maybe not. Um, you have to have a title, I guess, now. Um, it defaults to the just joined um, because you get that pretty much right when you start the game. But, you know, there's that. I'm not doing so well on this event. Whoopsie. Um, but... You'll see that my blue ticket went to my present box, so let's collect it. And then the one more thing I want to explain is the goals. So the goals basically are how you earn your love gems. And unfortunately, I've already completed my daily, but the, your daily goals are to practice th five members, scout three normal members, and to play five songs. So after you've completed all of those, you'll unlock another daily um, mission or goal is to full combo one song on any difficulty and you'll receive a love gem. So I normally just play it on easy if I'm really busy that day. Um, play it on easy and you just get your free love gem. Um, some others are, this is where you look at your blue ticket. This is where you see members um, idolizing, max bonding, collecting, all that good stuff. This is where you have your live goals. So clearing a live show 50 times, getting a full combo 25 times, and eventually that will bump up to 75 and then to 100. And then to 150 and then to 200, I believe. I'm, I can't really remember what I did on JP. Um, so basically... There will be an exclamation point on the other tab and on the goals tab, goals page right here. Um, if there's something you need to look at or there's something new, um, basically you just refer to there in for whatever you need. If you can't remember what song you're supposed to clear, what chapter you're supposed to clear, what title you need, the titles, what you need to do in order to gain that title will also show up in your goals. Um, but that's basically it. I'm not sure if I missed anything. Oh, and wallpapers. So when you rank up, you receive a couple of wallpapers. I received all of these at once because I am now level 140-something after the update. But all you do is you click on whatever one you want. Let's say I want to change it to this one. Hit OK. And you saw my background changed. And there we go. Um, it's a little too bright for me. I really like the piano room, so let's go back and change that. There we go. And that's basically it. You unlock wallpapers by leveling up, um, probably, and clearing stories. So I'm sure Ian will be behind JP on their wallpapers because the story isn't where the JP stories are. And that is basically basically it for the new update we also have overflow lp right now and you'll see i have 1035 out of 97 because i didn't rank up after the whole half exp thing happened and the half exp is definitely for new players they have the exp needed in order to gain to go to rank 100 
So the players who were over rank 100 um, got the EXP that they would have gotten. Or they had more EXP, you know. They just rank up a lot because of the half DXP. That's basically what it is. And then now we have Overflow LP. So I got Mega Overflow LP that I really need to use on this event. And I don't think I missed anything. Um... Oh, another small thing. We can unlock all song difficulties at once now, which, thank the Lord, I don't like starting out on easy. I like starting out on hard. Um, so that's a small thing that I really, really like. And another small thing that I really, really like is they changed the icons for the side stories, which, thank God, I really like these ones better than I like the initial rare ones. But, yeah. Now I think that's it. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please leave them in a comment down below. Um, your question of the day, what do you think of the new update? Um, it reminds me a lot of JP because we got a lot of things at once. All we need now is um, on JP, the daily mission is to just complete one live show and you get a free love gem. That's it. They make it super easy on you. Um, and... There is a big update on JP coming in July, and I'm super excited. I think it's July. I don't think it's June. I don't remember. Coming soon, that will introduce the Aqua Girls, and they announced that it's not Nozomi's last UR. They announced that there's going to be two um, URs per group per month, but you can look at a list of all the updates that they announced on my Twitter, at Lorzomi. Um, I'd love to have you follow me, um, but really, I'm just rambling at this point. Yeah, your question of the day is, what do you think of the new update? I really, really like it, um, but then again, I was on JP before. If you're EN only, what do you think of it? Um, and how do you think it could be improved? There's that too. So, um, that is it. Again, leave a comment if you have any other questions, um, and hopefully the other commenters or I will help you out there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and I will see you guys later. Bye!